Welcome to these functions that make you go, hmm. Which function are you looking for when you assess the leg alignment in your clients? We at Tizzle found that changes in the femur mechanics during the loading phase of the step can cause a lot of problems in the lower extremity. We invite you to explore with us five common dysfunctions that we see in the lower extremity. We're going to look at the leg alignment test with our client Sarah. So if we take a look at Sarah's right leg, we see that once she lifts up the back leg, her knee shakes in and out. When she does it then, you can also look at the toes, how she's compensating by lifting up her toes while she's doing the leg alignment test. In this video, we're going to focus our attention on problems or injuries with the cruciform ligaments, which are, as we mentioned before, one of the five common dysfunctions that we see when the femur mechanics are changed in the leg alignment. In order for you to understand what we are talking about, we go through the muscles that are relevant for this, go through the mechanics of the knee, the hip, really short, so you can see why we believe that the mechanics um, of the leg are important to prevent cruciform ligament injuries. First one is the glute max, big muscle, everybody knows it, it comes from the ilium, the sacrum and the coccyx bone and goes here down to the femur, also the IT band, it's a very huge muscle. The second one is the piriformis, which comes from the frontal side of the sacrum down to the femur. Then we have the two gemellus muscles, small muscles that come from here and here. They also go to the femur. And we have the two obturator muscles, one from here, one from the other side, also go to the femur. And we have the quadratus femoris muscle, which is the lowest one of these, which also go from the ilium to the femur. As we see from the course of the muscles, they all go from inside the outside, meaning if something goes from inside the outside on the back side of the hip, that means it does an external rotation on the hip, meaning external rotation on the femur. As we've seen in the test with Sarah, her knee is caving in and then coming out again, caving in, coming out again, as soon as she lifts up the back leg. So as soon as she loads her front leg, her knee is caving in. The femur is a part of the knee, so um, we can also say that the femur is caving in, which is an internal rotation of the femur. Meaning that the muscles that I just mentioned, all of these, are not functioning properly or the timing is not properly. That's why it caves in and out again. So why is that important for injuries of the cruciform ligaments? Have you heard me talk before in the meniscus video? The, the structures in the knee here, the, 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 the ligaments, their um, course is designed to inhibit rotation in the knee, only a certain degree. So the more rotation I have in my knee, the higher the probability, the higher is the risk of these ligaments to tear. Because if I have a ligament that is constantly under stretch, it doesn't need a big injury for it to tear. So um, if you have a knee that's in a neutral position, especially when you put pressure on it, when you run, when you walk, when you do sports, your ligaments are in a relaxed position. So it can take way much force in a bad direction, for example, somebody hitting you or you skipping or you slipping or you skiing, then if your ligaments would be every step in a stretch position. That's why to prevent injuries in the cruciform ligament structures of the knee, we think it's very important to look at the leg alignment and therefore look at the external rotation of the femur. Or the other way, if you see an internal rotation during a loading response, this can be a cruciform ligament injury in the future. We hope that this video was informative. We hope that you can assess this with your clients and you come to the same conclusions. If you want more information, please visit us on our website. Thank you very much.